Well, several homeless people and housing advocates have been camped out in front of Hamilton City Hall since Tuesday. City uh, yesterday, city bylaw officers gave them notice to vacate within 24 hours. Adam Atkinson joins us live from City Hall with more on this. Good evening, Adam. All right, Taz, the 24-hour notice came and went, and the tents remain in front of City Hall. Now, I spoke with a few of the homeless people here, and they just want the city to find them somewhere safe to live. 32-year-old Elizabeth Schaub has been living on the street since 2013. My son was apprehended by CAS, and uh, I just spiraled down out of control. I lost um, the main thing that kept me going each day. She admits drugs have a hold of her. Unfortunately, I've been addicted to drugs uh, since I was 14. Uh, the only time I was clean was when I had my son. Um, and then when CAS apprehended my son, I uh, spiraled back into a relapse. And uh, it's been a fighting battle ever since. She says her lifestyle is a difficult one. Nowhere to live and no one to trust. And ended up, uh, unfortunately, doing some drank dope and I ended up blacking out and they stole my ID, they stole my wallet, like they took everything that I had, all my clothes, they took my taxi voucher to get home, they took everything and I've been here ever since. She's part of the protest outside of Hamilton City Hall where close to a dozen tents are set up. The government is doing nothing. They, they seem to want to help so many other countries, unfortunately, and I, don't get me wrong, I'm all for that, but you know, we really need to start here at home first because if it's a damaged country, how are we supposed to help anybody else? 35-year-old Matthew Dawkins Smith has been homeless for three years. Moved out of my apartment in Guelph to move in with my son's mother. Went through a bad split up and just been struggling ever since. He says nothing can prepare you for being homeless in the winter. There's endless challenges. There's a safety issue. There's weather conditions. Like this cold weather, it's been really hard to stay stay warm like just to avoid hypothermia there's a couple of people went to the hospital the other night because of hypothermia angela voss isn't homeless but she's hoping this protest will get the city to work faster to find safe housing for the homeless population i want to do this because they matter they matter my son died in 2020 i screamed for help when he relapsed all of his services were cancelled through covid and I just see these guys falling through the same loop. As of 3 o'clock this afternoon, bylaw officers could have started removing their tents and belongings, but the boss says she isn't going anywhere. We are going to lock arms in solidarity, and they're not going to get to anybody's stuff because these people need care. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Taz, uh, so the city did not remove the encampment. In fact, even more protesters showed up throughout the day to show their support for the people here. Back to you.